In this tutorial video, we're going to go through the laser sketch engraving toolpath. First of all, we're going to open the tutorial file for this tutorial. We're first going to go to the 3D view and we're first going to look at creating a laser sketch engraving with this image here. So if we go over to the toolpath tab, you can see here that we already have a laser cut and fill toolpath for the Rita text here. For more information on the laser cut and fill toolpaths, I would recommend watching the how to use the laser cut and fill toolpath tutorial video. But for this tutorial video, we are going to use these settings for the text. And we're going to create a new toolpath for this image here. So with the image selected, I'm going to go into the laser sketch engraving toolpath. So at the top of the laser sketch engraving form, you can select the laser tool you want to use by selecting the select option. For this, we will be using the marking settings. But if you would like more information on each of the settings in the tool database for the laser, I would recommend watching the laser cut and fill toolpath tutorial video where I go through each of these sections. So I'm going to select this tool. There is also the edit option next to this, which will allow you to edit the laser tool settings for this toolpath only. Underneath the tool option is where we will be selecting whether we are going to be selecting a bitmap image or a 3D model to create the toolpath with. For this example, we have a image, so we will be selecting the bitmap option. The next two options underneath this is the power. So this is the percentage of the laser power we will be using to cut this toolpath. The next option is the overscan option. The overscan option allows you to have the laser move past the edge of the lasered area. This will turn the laser off at the edge of the lasered area but will allow the machine to continue moving. You can use this if you are seeing a darker edge to the laser burn due to machine deceleration. This is machine dependent and I would recommend running tests to know how much overscan you will need for the laser you are using if you are seeing a darker burn to the edge of your cut. The next option here you can see is the machining limit boundary. So this is going to be the machining limit of the toolpath we are going to select. For this, we're going to select the bitmap boundary option as this image has already been cropped to the correct shape. So we will want to cut the whole of the image out. If you do not want to do this, you can draw a vector around the area you want to machine and use the selected vector option instead. So for the selected vector option, you will need to select the vector and image you want to use to create this toolpath. So now I'm going to unselect these and select the image again and go back to the bitmap boundary option, which we will be using in this example. The other option we have here is a boundary offset. This can increase the machining limit outside of the boundary that we have selected by the distance entered here. For this, we're just going to use the default setting of zero as we do not need to cut past the edge of the image. So the next setting on the list is the tracing parameters. The line thickness will allow you to adjust the thickness of the lines created from the bitmap image selected. The higher the value, the thicker and heavier the sketch carved lines will be, but you will see less detail. The green highlighted area will show you which areas will be engraved by the laser. So if we move the slider upwards, you can see here the lines get much thicker, but you can see that less detail is being picked up. If we move the slider down, you can see that the lines aren't very thick, but more detail is being picked up. By reviewing the green highlighted area in the laser sketch engraving toolpath, you can get a good idea of how the toolpath will cut 
before calculating it. So for this example, I'm going to use a line thickness of about here, as I like the thickness of the lines, but also happy with the amount of detail it's picking up. This setting will depend on what type of cut you are looking for, and also the type of image you are using. The next option on the form is the step over. This is the space between the lines that will be cut by the laser to create the hatched pattern for this toolpath. Then the next option is the hatched angle, which will be the angle that the toolpath will cut. For this example, we will keep the hatch angle at zero degrees. The next option is the strategy that the toolpath will cut. These options are fill together, fill regionally, and fill regionally within vectors. If you would like some more information on what each of these strategies do, I would recommend watching the cut and fill laser tutorial video that goes through each of these options. The next option is the cross hatch option. Checking this option will create a cross hatch fill instead of a single set of lines. The last option on the form is the project toolpath onto 3D model option. This option will allow you to project the toolpath onto a 3D model. If you would like more information on this, I would recommend watching the how to project a laser toolpath onto a 3D model tutorial video. So now let's calculate this toolpath. So now we can preview the two toolpaths to see how the laser sketch engraving toolpath will cut like. So here you can see the toolpath that was produced by the laser sketch engraving toolpath. So we reset this and close the toolpath preview and then go over to the sheets tab. You can see that there is a sheet called 3D model. So if I double click this, you can see that on this sheet we have one of the free clip art that comes with the full version of the software. And we're going to use this to create a laser sketch engraving toolpath using the model option instead. So if we go back over to the toolpaths tab, first of all, we will want to check our material setup. So if we click here, you can see that the material thickness is one inch. We have the XY datum set to the center and we're Z zeroing off the material surface. I'm going to move the model position in material so it is at the top of the material. If you are seeing an error here that says that your model thickness is more than the thickness of the material you are using, you can use the set option here to change the model height so it is less than the material thickness that you have set up for this project. As you can see here, the model thickness is 0.4723 inches, which is below the thickness of the material we are using. And then here you can see the Z gap above material settings and home start position. And you will need to make sure that these are safe and appropriate for the taller machine you are using. So these are fine for the example we are going to use today. So I'm going to click OK here. So now we're going to go through the settings of this laser sketch engraving toolpath. So here you can see the tool we have selected, which is the same tool from the previous example. But for the selection option instead now, we are selecting the 3D model option. You can see here we've got the same power and overscan option. So for the next setting, the machining limit boundary, we now have the option of the model boundary instead, which is the edge of the model. The selected vector option again, if you only want to cut within a selected vector. But you also have the select level option here as well. So if you have different models on different levels and you only want to use one of those levels, you can select this here. For this example, we will be using the model boundary. We will not be using a boundary offset and be using a line thickness of 31. I will be changing the step over slightly. 
to the same step over we used in the previous example. And for this, we'll also use a hatch angle of 45. And also select the cross hatch option here. Again, the green highlighted areas will show you where the toolpath will be cut. So I'm happy with what I can see here before I create the toolpath. So I'm going to click calculate here. And now we can preview this toolpath. And now you can see the type of toolpath that it will create using a 3D model. You can use this toolpath to produce a different type and style of cut using 3D models. It could also be used with the project toolpath onto 3D model option in the toolpath to add detail to a model that you have already cut using the 3D toolpaths. I hope you have found this tutorial video helpful on the laser sketch engraving toolpath. If you would like to see the laser in action, we recommend you take a look at the getting started with the Vectric laser module video.